taking a big step forward in the development of bigger and more powerful locally built rocket engines. The Liquid Propulsion System Center has successfully conducted the first cold flow test recently on the CE20 cryogenic engine, which will power the upper stage of the geosynchronous satellite launch vehicle MK3. ISRO officials confirmed that the test had gone as planned at the LPSC facility in Mahendragiri, Tamil Nadu. The first hot test where the engine will be fired for a few seconds will be performed in three weeks' time, ISRO sources said. In a cold test, the propellants are not ignited. Cryogenic engines were back in the news with the Kerala High Court making a reference to it on Monday while passing a directive on the infamous ISRO spy case of 1994. The spy case had delayed its development and the ISRO could conduct the first successful flight test aboard the GSLV MK2 type launch vehicle only on January 5, 2014. CE20 is a mightier version of the CE 7.5 engine used in the GSLV D5 mission. Cryogenic technology is highly complex as the propellants must be stored at extremely low temperatures. ISRO sources claim that the work is progressing on another CE 7.5 engine which will power the upper stage of the GSLV D6, a ditto version of the GSLV D5, expected to be flown in March or April 2015. This flight is very crucial for ISRO to prove that the cryo stage is reliable. In fact, the success of the CE20 engine is crucial for the GSLV MK3 launch vehicle project. This MK3 rocket will make ISRO self-reliant in the launch of heavier communication satellites in the 4000 plus kg class. The rocket will give ISRO an urge in the international satellite launch market. News Desk, Mango News. If a mine is allotted to a particular person, obviously the land has to be transferred by him. So there will be a compulsory transfer of the land from the current owner.